Those spiking numbers have made testing sites popular across the state. Several stop the spread locations were closed because of the stormy weather today. At the sites that were open, WBC's Paul Burton says people waited for hours. Car after car braving the elements, folks lined up to receive their COVID-19 test at the Beth Israel Deaconess Healthcare Facility in Chelsea. We decided to get tested today because we came in contact with somebody who tested positive last weekend. She found out yesterday, so we just want to make sure that we're not sick. The soaking rain did not deter Jennifer Zoss of Lexington, who has to fly to Minnesota to visit her elderly mother. I have to travel out of state to help take care of my mother, who's... Um, elderly in her 90s. I just want to make sure that I'm COVID free if I'm going to be around her. So this is a very big test for you. Yes. Oh, it, it's critical. I can't go and help my mom. In the span of about five hours, this testing site location will administer about 250 COVID-19 tests. The line wraps around the parking lot and onto the street. People waiting for hours. But you know what? They say it's worth it. I think I've been waiting about an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Yeah, the line started way back at the um, entrance to Broadway on the uh, Route 1 exit. What's going through your mind as you wait to get tested? Well, I just think it's a very responsible for, thing for people to be doing, uh, and it's worth the wait. You know, people have to be patient and appreciative of the people who are working here, the security and the frontline workers. Worth the wait? Uh, necessity. We went to another clinic first, one of the urgent cares, and we couldn't get in. Testing will resume throughout the week beginning Monday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. In Chelsea, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.